What's the best animated movie you saw recently? Chances are your answer will include works from Disney, DreamWorks or Sony and not a Nigerian studio. More Incredibles than he don't show, however funny it is. But why is animation in Nigeria yet to truly take off? The argument against the animation industry in Nigeria has been that there is no market for animation, especially with weak distribution channels and a slowly growing cinema culture. But the extended run of Angry Birds 2 in the cinemas shows that there are Nigerians willing to pay to watch animations. Sony's Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse and Hotel Transylvania 3 also had extended runs at the Nigerian box office. Actually, the most accurate answer to the current state of the animation industry in Nigeria is funding. While Tangled cost a whopping $260 million, Nollywood's most expensive movie, Half of a Yellow Sun, cost between $8 and $10 million. Alright, alright, maybe Tangled is the most expensive animation ever made. Even more expensive than The Lion King. No, not that one. Yeah, that one. But the average budget for an animated feature is between $2 million and $50 million. Major animation studios like Pixar have more than 600 creative people working intensively on a movie for 3 to 4 years. Such resources are currently impossible for a Nigerian animation company, which means Nigeria is yet to get its first feature animation. The animation industry in Nigeria is limited to shots and skits. Regardless of the current challenges, the industry has witnessed some growth. Commotion Studios drew the attention of many to the huge potential in the animation industry with its animated 3D short film titled Dawn of Thunder. The short story on Shongo was met with high praise. Commotion Studios later launched a crowdfunding campaign to produce a feature film but the response from the public and investors was poor. Nonetheless, the animation house is working on the feature-length film for Dawn of Thunder with principal shooting already completed. Magic Carpet Studios is also working on Nigeria's first 2D animated feature film, The Passport of Malam Ilya, based on the 1916 novel by Cyprian Equency of the same name. Nigeria could have gotten its first animated feature in December 2019, but Hantel Studios announced that project will not be released due to funding challenges. The animated feature film was set to be released in three major languages, English, French and Swahili. Regardless of the funding challenges, there has been major progress in the form of the impressive Malaika Warrior Queen by Unique Studios in collaboration with Antil Studios. Malaika was first screened at the Lagos Comic Con with a hall packed full and many others waiting in line yearning to get a glimpse of Malaika's riveting quality before it premiered on YouTube. The 15-minute animated pilot was well received with over 400,000 views on YouTube. It is clear that the Nigerian animation industry is on the rise, but with more support, this format of storytelling could easily give life to hundreds of Nigerian and African stories. But for now, we await the next episode of the impressive Malaika. Thanks for watching Guardian Nigeria on YouTube. If you liked this video, make sure to like and kindly subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you get updated on all our posts.